All right, guys. Well, I've got to nip out and do a couple of uh, Christmas seasonal Christmas greetings to friends. Uh, I'm filming it because last time I went there, well, you will see somebody there who's uh, they're a little territorial. Catch in a little bit. So even on a day like this, uh, just nipping out, you uh, can never miss an opportunity. And there uh, we've got a fridge and a microwave. Let's go and see if we can have them. Well, I, I'm out doing some Christmas, uh, doing some Christmas. <laughs> I'm shut up. I'm out doing some Christmas uh, greetings out in the countryside. I love coming here because says welcome but not so sure that these guys that these guys here make you feel welcome I'm not going to go what are you on about shut up you stay there you lot alright Get ahead of it! Oi! Hook it off! Go on! Oh, at least this guy, at least this guy isn't as, uh, as bad as them things outside. I don't know the one there. Uh, what a place to be, eh? Yeah. That's because that's be, that's because of that fire. <laughs> right, let, all the best, and Merry Christmas to you. Yep. Oh, straight away. Shut up. Oh, go away. No. Stop. Stop it. Right. Bugger off! Boy! Bloody buggers here! See you, Keith! Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> Oh, they've quietened down a bit now, haven't they? Well, that's the last of my Christmas visits. I can now... I just close this gate. And get back. And... and celebrations can start. Well, we're back, <laughs> uh, and it didn't work out as well as I thought. The, the the microwave turned out to be an oven, so there's little little no scrap in that, and the fridge turned out to be a freezer. Still, I thought I'd take the compressor out the back of it. When I attempted to move it, it was very heavy. I set warning bells going. I opened the door. Like I said, it weren't a fridge; it was a freezer and it was completely full of food uh, that makes it not just a quick take it home take the compressor out turn it over for scrap but i then got to find a way of getting rid of all the food that was in it and the last time i did a freezer that had food in it stunk to high heaven so that's one of those scrap deals that you you pass up on i'm going to take that into the shed i'm going to plug it in see if it works if not, it's scrap. Well, before I start on the oven, which I thought was a microwave, I want to say a little something to someone up there. Up there? No, not up there. That way, near the North Pole, Sweden. To Peter Lindstrom, if I pronounce your name right. You ready? Good you. I hope I pronounced that correct. And I am going to have 
something called a piston head Christmas Carol holiday dark lager that of course has been brewed in and there's no way I'm saying that word but it's been brewed in Sweden so Peter good you now let the festivities begin Have a look at this oven. Ah, so it, it weren't a microwave, it was an oven. Uh, I took some of the bits out of it as an oven. Now, there's no scrap in it, there's a, a cable. It's weighing as it is, weighs, I don't know, two kilos. It's worth 20p a scrap. But, that got me thinking, it's only an oven, goes to 230 degrees. If it works, can I use that for melting HDPE? Hmm, well first of all, let's see if it works. Uh, well, I've got my red light, so I know I've got power. Turn that off. Plug that in, switch it on, red light come on, nothing went bang, turn it up to full, don't know what they do, selector, do that. timer, oh, oh we got a light come on, what is this, that says defrost, defrost, one bar, two bars, Right, see if it gets hot. Well, about 30 seconds later, and you might not be able to see this. I saw a lot of smoke coming off it. I thought, bloody hell, what's happening here? And it weren't, it was my breath that's freezing in the garage. However, yes, it's nice and toasty and warm in there. So, yeah, was it a bust scrap run? Well, it was a bust scrap run for scrap. Not made anything. But, I've got myself an oven. Which, I don't know what to do with it. Oh well, that's uh, keep life or scrap life. It's what makes life a challenge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the light's turned off. I could use that as a heater for in here, couldn't I, instead of using two candles. Well, that's the oven put away and it's cooling off. Warm, warming up, cooling off. That's a kind of a mix match, isn't it? So my missus has just hit me with a, a wish list. It's night time. Christmas Eve is tomorrow. And she said, I would like, have we got anything? That we can put about yeah I table height I could put the glasses on for tomorrow instead of taking up the worktop and it's like where am I gonna go and get a little table at this time at night and about a drink no problems I said I'll make you one years ago I have a little table is uh get the can computer monitor on it put the legs off never throw that, it's a good piece of plate so I didn't throw that away however if anyone saw the video where I made what was it called uh, I found some space then filled it, something like that I, I made a receptacle, and I still can't say receptacle and when I made it all my legs went every which way but loose, they weren't straight. So I don't really want to put four straight legs on this. So I've had a thought, I've got some tube out. I thought, what can I do? I could do like one of them, like that, like a trestle. Stick a book, I could tack them in the middle. Two exactly the same, I can't go wrong. And what do you find? Not got enough steel of the right sort to do that. I 
I've got some that's slightly damaged. Now, it doesn't really matter what it looks like, it'll be covered up with a decorative cloth. And tomorrow, after the the uh, the Prosecco and the canapes, it'll be cut up back in the scrap pile. Having a little root about for some more steel, I found these. Uh, used to be a, used to be a, a table. I was going to make a uh, garden planter out of that, and I still will. However, these are now going to form the basis of the uh, little table. Problem is, they're only like 21 inches, and I need. 31 inches. So what I'm going to do, and I might do it, I'm just going to, I'm going to weld some legs on it, just tack some legs on it, but I might make it the other way around and tack the legs onto the bottom like that. One way or another, I'm going to crack on with that, I'm not going to show you the build. Might show you some outtakes if it's all wonky. I've got to carry on. Just a quickie. I'm paying attention where I've got my torch. In a bonnie torch holder. Thanks, Guido. You know what? Even I can have some good fortune sometime. Okay. I was going to weld some legs. Tack some legs on the outside to give the eye. You know what I found? It fits over the box section. So, clean it up, a little tack. My wife gets a temporary. We get a temporary uh, Prosecco and uh, canopy table. Only for the day, cover up. Might even get some paint, spray it silver. That's it, I'm out. You lot enjoy your Christmas. Again, Peter, if you skip right to the end, good you. And this beer, quite nice. If you're interested, I paid one English pounds for that. One English pounds. It's only a small tin. Out. Merry Christmas! The party has just begun. You gave me candles lit, did I? So, there's the table. As I said, I went lucky. The day just slotted over the bottom post, quick tack gone. It's only to last a day. Plenty strong enough. And at the beginning of this year, I promised myself that I would get my lace up and running. So, what would a man be if he can't keep a promise to himself? He's going to keep promises to other people. So I've started. I will. I'm off all week. I'm going to get this done. So I've emptied it. All the bits are on here. Set up, set up the table. The bed is going to go on top of there. I'm going to move that, level the floor, put it all back, assemble it. And that'll be me next week. 
maybe I uh, do a little video on it. Whatever, I'm off, I'm out. It's officially party time. Merry Christmas, everybody.